right, I'm here with uh, State Representative Scott Conklin, who uh, was Lieutenant Governor's candidate last year uh, statewide. Uh, what did you think of President Obama? I'm excited. When you look at what he's laying out, not only is he going to help the everyday citizen, but he's also going to put it into real world use, that he's going to make us competitive. He's using universities to be able to create the technology, private industry to be able to fund it, and he's going to create jobs right in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. It's a win-win across the board. And as the president explained, when you're looking at about 60% of our energy use is being used by homeowners, if we can save people dollars in their own home, that's where true saving begins. And then, to couple that, we're going to be not raise one penny in deficit, but we're going to take the money that we're giving to the oil companies today and be able to divert that into technology that will hire Pennsylvanians, hire people within the, the student system, and then create real jobs and, and work with the private sector. It's a win-win. It's, it's the type of initiatives, the type of ideas that we need, not only in Pennsylvania, but this country. Why are we still giving billions to the oil companies? We, we all wonder that, and it's time to stop. It's, it's time that we take folks who can work, live with their, within their own two feet, or, or be able to pay billions of dollars in profits to their shareholders, and allow those people to play in the market, do the market good, but it's time to take the people's money and use it with helps the people. And what helps the people is lowering my day-to-day -day expenses, keeping my electric bill low, coming up with new energy efficient windows and doors to save me energy. That's what's important, what, what touches our lives every day. And the president hit a home run today. He's a, right on target. He's exactly what, what Pennsylvania needs. And I, I'm excited right here, being from the State College of Pennsylvania. But I'm this excited. is your district, isn't it? This is my district. I'm excited to see what they've done here. I've been telling people for years that, that, that we are the Joel within the country. And today he's shown it, and I'm anxious to see these young people get to work. And But most of all, I'm anxious to see our homeowners finally get a break. How exciting is it to see the president here in your state house district? It's very exciting. When you look at what happens in the world today, the f folks that come across, to be able to meet with them, to get a chance to talk to them, to be able to have them come right here and see what we're doing right here in central Pennsylvania. It's, it's an honor and a privilege that's brought to us through a lot of hard work. So who got the biggest ovation, Joe Paterno or, or the president? We, you know, on the scale, we were looking at the guy who had it next to me. I think it was a tie. In fact, I think who got the largest ovation was the Eagles fans, the one when he mentioned Philadelphia. Yes. But, but uh, the, uh, the, uh, outside of that, uh, uh, I'm putting Joe right up there with the governor uh, oh. and the mayor, or the president, should I say. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Scott. Hey, thank you.